The Notodomeri lion was a massive subspecies of lion that lived during the Middle Pleistocene. This giant cat is known from a partial skull found in Kenya, dating back to approximately 195 to 205,000 years ago. It dwarfed the skull of any modern big cat and was comparable to the skulls of the largest cave lions. It is also the first evidence of giant lions in eastern Africa during that period. The classification of this cat has been heavily debated. Researchers are not sure whether this lion was an extinct subspecies of today's lion, Panthera leo, or a separate species entirely, similar to the cave lion, Panthera spelia, and the American lion, Panthera atrox. Some even suggested that it may even be an African subspecies of cave lion. Current evidence, however, suggests that the Notodomeri lion is a distinct regional population of Panthera leo rather than the Eurasian cave lion, Panthera spelia. This meant that it was indeed a true lion, or at least that's what current evidence suggests. The skull discovered in Kenya measured up to 460 mm, or over 38 cm, being longer than the skulls of any other lion, alive or extinct, with the only one beating it in size, being a massive skull belonging to Panthera fossilis, also known as the Mossback lion, found in Ukraine. This lion measured up to 3 meters long, or 10 feet in body length. It reached a shoulder height of approximately 125 centimeters, or 4.1 feet. It potentially weighed between 180 to 350 kilograms, or 397 to 772 pounds. This makes it much heavier than modern lions, and similar in weight to the largest tigers, such as the Bengal and Siberian tigers. However, some sources suggest it could have reached 400 to 500 kilograms, or 880 to 1,100 pounds. These are likely just ridiculous overestimates, and a max weight of 350 kilograms is more realistic and believable. This would still make it among the largest cats that ever lived, and the largest true lion of all time. The Notodomeri lion isn't the only known prehistoric subspecies of lion. The Sri Lankan lion was another subspecies of the modern lion, that lived during the Pleistocene. It lived more recently, becoming extinct around 37,000 years ago. It was similar in size to the largest lions of today and would have been the apex predator of Sri Lanka during the Pleistocene, alongside tigers, which are now extinct on the island. Just like today's lions, the Notodome lion would have been the apex predator of its day. It would have preyed on animals such as large ungulates, like zebra, wildebeest, and buffalo. Thanks to its larger size, it was probably able to tackle larger prey than its modern relative. It would have coexisted and preyed on the giant long-horned buffalo, which was a close relative of the modern cape buffalo. This buffalo is notable for its long horns, both measuring up to 3 meters or 10 feet. They were also massive, weighing up to 2,000 kilograms or 4,400 pounds, being heavier than its modern relative, the cape buffalo. Males could stand as tall as 1.9 meters, or 6.2 feet at the shoulder. The habitat of the Notodomeri lion was a lush river delta ecosystem around 200,000 years ago. Its habitat also consisted of warm forest steppe with open savanna elements, which would have supported large megafauna, such as living and extinct species of elephants, giraffes, zebras, hippos, buffaloes, and rhinos. Carnivals such as hyenas, leopards, cheetahs, and African wild dogs were also present at the time. However, none of them came close to the size and strength of the Notodomeri lion. These lions would have probably lived and hunted in prides, just like their modern relatives, giving them the edge in hunting prey and competition. It's possible that these lions may have coexisted with us humans, since both species lived in Africa around 200,000 years ago. Fossil remains show that this lion didn't live past 190,000 years ago, likely becoming extinct around that time, or possibly evolving into a living subspecies of lion in Africa. Its disappearance is just as debated as its classification, and we will never really know for sure. Hopefully, more fossil remains will be found, so we can learn more about this underrated extinct lion. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and comment, and subscribe if you feel like it. Stay blessed and enjoy the rest of your day.